Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a like a jack smack and it's Waff Man for video. And today we will be having an open forum discussion. I'll be replying to the comments in there as soon as I can. But we are talking about Kevin Durant because he's the top three player in the NBA behind Stephen Curry and LeBron James. And the reason we're talking about Kevin Durant is because, of course, everyone knows this if you don't know it. He lost in the Western Conference Finals to the Warriors and he is now a free agent. Now, before this series started, I said that if they lost to San Antonio or they got out of the playoffs early, they had a first round early exit or something like that, that the Thunder would not, or the Kevin Durant would not be rejoining the Thunder. Now, a lot of things have changed. The Thunder have made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals and took it to Game 7. They even had a 3-1 to one game lead. They could have made it to the Finals. At which point, when the Thunder had 3-1 lead on the Warriors, I said, Kevin Durant is not leaving. After they blew that lead and they lost 3-4, to four, and the Warriors are now moving on to the Western Conf or the NBA Finals, excuse me, I've decided that, you know, maybe Kevin Durant might leave. And the reason I say this is because, does he really want to play with Russell Westbrook? Westbrook still has one more year on his contract. Uh, his contract expires next season. So next season, Westbrook will be a free agent. So what Kevin Durant can do is Kevin Durant can sign a one-year deal like LeBron James. He, he can sign a one-year deal, take a player option in, uh, for the next year, so a two-year deal with a player option, and then he could be a free agent at the same time Westbrook becomes a free agent. So they could do this whole thing. They, they could do this whole shebang again, try to get to the NBA Finals next season because I think, to be honest, they're the only competition uh, the Warriors have in the West now. But they could do the whole shebang again, try to get to the NBA Finals through the Western Conference. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then they can split up. So maybe Westbrook will go next season or maybe Kevin Durant will go next season. But that's a one possibility. Or what Kevin Durant could do right now is just basically uh, decide that he's just going to leave. And maybe sign somewhere else for short term. Maybe it'll take another one year deal somewhere or sign his max contract of 25 million dollars a year of course obviously increasing each year after that because of the new cba implications now a lot of people want to ask me is kevin Durant coming to new york what are the chances that kevin Durant actually comes to new york and i'm gonna say it's very very slim i'll never say never uh about a situation i mean to be honest kevin Durant is one of those nba free agents where every team wants him every team wants kevin Durant on his team like the, if the clippers could get kevin Durant. They would trade Blake Griffin for Kevin Durant. No doubt. No doubt about that. They would take Kevin Durant over Blake Griffin any day. I mean, you're talking about Chris Paul with Kevin Durant and DeAndre Jordan? And then J.J. Redick shooting? J.J. Redick is a shooter. Unlike, you know, players like Andre Roberson, uh, Deion Waiters. He can shoot lights out. So you got to stake a man on J.J. Redick. You got to stay on CP3. You got to guard Kevin Durant. I mean... The only person you're going to be double teaming out there or, or leaving a man's open might be the power forward position. But you got to put a man on DeAndre Jordan because he's going to get a lot of rebounds offensively. So if he goes to the Clippers, that'll automatically make them a contending team to the max. And maybe CP3 gets over that hump where he actually gets to the Western Conference Finals. But then CP3 is also a better decision maker than Russell Westbrook. Maybe that's why Kevin Durant wants to leave. Maybe Kevin Durant is frustrated to play with Russell Westbrook. We don't know yet. Uh, but there's also talks about Kevin Durant being pursued by Miami Heat. And the Heat also have a strong case to get Kevin Durant. I mean, it's Miami. You know, it's a good market, a good city. They got Dwayne Wade. You see what Dwayne Wade did last season? He took he took Toronto in the semifinals all the way to Game 7 with no Chris Bosh and no Hassan Whiteside for the last couple of games. And they still got Goran Dragic who plays good most of the time. Uh, you know... A Sam Watson, they're trying to get a Sam Watson back. So if a Sam Watson, if the core Heat team is there with Dwayne Wade, Hassan Watson, Go and Dragic, maybe Chris Bosch actually can play because those blood clots. We don't know about them blood clots, man. It's a serious thing about them blood clots. But if this happens, adding Kevin Durant to that team, it puts them to the second best in the East. No question about that. It might even push them to the be the best in the East because people were saying the Heat were on top of the Cavs this season with their whole team. With Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade and Tom Whiteside and Goran Dragic. Then off the bench, you got Justin Winslow. You got uh, Josh Richardson. They added Amari Stoudemire. They added Joe Johnson. So there's a whole bevy of people 
on the heat and it's a very good option especially the organization is very stable pat rowdy's still there they got eric sposo as coach new york is a little bit still a little bit unstable sure we got a new coach in jeff hornacek who's not bad uh we still got phil jackson who i don't really know what what phil jackson wants to do if he's gonna leave soon but apparently they're saying that he's not gonna be leaving to the, go to los angeles he's gonna be staying with the knicks for a while uh so i guess that's good news to hear but it's interesting about the Knicks situation because Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant are some good friends. Uh, last season or this season, when Carmelo, when uh, Kevin Durant came to New York and he played against the Knicks, he called Porzingis a unicorn and he actually appreciated Porzingis because he kind of reminded Porzingis of himself when he was young. Uh, you know, small body type, skinny, but tall, long wingspan, stuff like that. Uh, can put the ball on the floor and score like that. So that's why I like Porzingis and you know, we got Robin Lopez here. And we got cap space, man. So a lot of things can happen. Kevin Durant could be going to a number of teams. Uh, he definitely doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. I have no idea. After the Thunder lost that way, and I was just sitting there thinking, I mean, does he want to play Westbrook? I was thinking about that, and I just couldn't come up with an answer. So I really just don't know, man. It's just, it's a free agency. I'm going into blind. But if you're talking about Kevin Durant coming to New York, it's very slim. It's possible. It could happen, but any team could get Kevin Durant, and it's very slim that uh, the Knicks could get him. I mean, sure, we got Carmelo. Sure, it's the Knicks. The New York is a hard marketplace to play in as well, but it's also a great marketplace for business. And then you're in the East, so it's easier to get to stuff like that, to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's easier. Uh, also, you're playing with Pozingis. You're playing with Robin Lopez, who will get the, most of the dirty work done for you. And then the Knicks after that, after if we, the, the Knicks will happen to able to get Kevin Durant. We'd have to go out and get Michael Conley, man. That's the only way I can think about it. Michael Conley is still out there. You know, Michael Conley is going to have a big impact in this free agency, man. People are sleeping on that nigga Michael Conley. But leave your thoughts in the comment section, man. What are your thoughts on the Knicks' chances of getting Kevin Durant? Me, I think it's very slim to almost impossible. I mean, it's not impossible, but uh, very slim. Maybe 10 We have like a 10% chance of getting KD. Other teams probably have better chances, but we'll probably sit down with him. I mean, we'll have a talk. Uh, but anyways, stay tuned for more. I'm out for now. Peace.